Hello and welcome to this uh, YouTube upload of a Twitch live stream of the game Final Girl, a solo only horror themed board game where we are trying to be the last survivor standing, the final girl in this horror movie. This is sponsored by Van Ryder Games. Big thanks to them and thanks to you on YouTube for watching this upload from Twitch. You can see I will have Twitch chat on screen during the video here so that when I talk to them, you have some context for what's going on and it is their job to keep me on track with the rules uh, is their main job here today I'm Paula if you don't know me I probably should have said that first and I'm very excited because today we are playing the terror from the grave expansion <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. This is all about, a, it's a vignette expansion for Final Girl, and it's all about zombies, and you can pair it with any location you want, and so we have paired it today with the Sacred Groves, which I've done some setup for, but I don't have the map fully set up yet. So in this, we've got uh, zombies that will function mostly as minions, uh, but at a certain point, they will take on some killer actions as well. So we'll have zombies on the board here. And then as they group up, they become hordes. And once we get a horde of zombies, they start taking killer actions, which is why you can see up here, there's a minion and a killer action. Uh, this is on the edge of my lens here, which is why it's a little bit softer than what's in the middle, focus-wise. Um, and if we ever have all three hordes on the board and we need to place a fourth horde and we can't, we lose. Or if we die, we lose. The way we win, wipe out all the zombies. And it's as simple as that. Mango Feet in chat is saying, I'm here to keep you off track. So that is already a breach in contract. Um, oh, here we are. Oh, I've seen we're at 720p. Hi, everyone. Uh, we, uh, I've just realized that this is in 720 and it should be in 1080. So we're just going to fix it real quick right now. We're just going to, I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Here we go, now we're at 1080. That's right, it should be absolutely beautiful now. And that's just gonna be in the YouTube edit. That's part of the live experience. Uh, <laughs> so it should look a little bit nicer for you now. <laughs> Thanks everyone for your patience on that. So where were we? Oh yeah, zombies. So I'm actually playing as me today, which is pretty exciting. Um, that's my card, which you can get uh, from me directly or from Van Ryder Games or from the Watch It Played store, actually. Um, all those things support support all of us. And so I have start with five health. If I rescue five victims, I get my special power, which is that things are getting dicey. Pretty clever, right? Anytime you would roll only one die, roll two instead. They knew. They knew what was up when they made this special power for me. They knew about my dice luck. The single number result is needed. You choose which die to use. So there you go. And I get time back for additional zombies. Zombies saved. Victims saved. Oh, and when victims die in this uh, vignette, they become zombies. So. <sighs> there you go. Everyone who is holding on can let go now, yes. Everyone in chat. So we need to figure out, though, what my final health token is. So I start with five. Like I said, I have four here so we need our fifth and we're gonna let our twitch chat choose from here one two three four five six seven eight nine so i need numbers in chat hornus says eight i see three i see seven i see eleven is not a number our dan henry six seven Who's your daddy? Hello. Five, one. Okay. I've seen seven twice. So, phantom existence. Ardan says, I assure you, 11 is a number, but not one of the numbers that is that counts here, Ardan Henry. So, I saw seven twice, but I do like uh, phantom existence has said three, and in my Twitch chat, it is labeled as a new introduction. Now, that it could mean anything because Twitch chat is funny sometimes and what it shows me. Uh, we're going to go with that. I don't know why I was like, you tell me, and then I chose from the numbers, but that's the one we're going with. Phantom, hello, welcome, three. 
I almost went with seven because it was said twice. We won't know what's on the other side of this until I potentially die. And um, if I do, and we flip it over, and I have no extra health, we know who to blame in its phantom. So, there you go, everyone. So let's finish with our setup here. We're gonna flip over a setup card and we're gonna do our, our little setup. So we actually don't have this killer meeple. I'm realizing we don't need because we have zombies who are all over here instead that we're gonna put on the board. Uh, they go in the killer spot and also in all the exits. Let me confirm that that is in fact all the places they're meant to go. Yes, one zombie on each exit space and on the killer starting space. And then we put vehicle tokens and shuffle them and evenly distribute them face down on the exit spaces as well. So let's see what our setup is. <laughs> Dueling tour guides, because again, we're in the sacred groves that is being desecrated by tourists right now, which is why this location is angry. Um, this one comes with Inkanyamba. Have I said that right? Inkanyamba. Yes, I did. Uh, who is, is out to get revenge for the desecration of the sacred land. But he's not around today. Today it's just the zombies. So it looks like I start in this bottom. Oh, I start in an exit? That's very interesting. Um, so I start here in this exit with a zombie. That's not great. We have a zombie in each exit, so I'm just gonna do a zombie in each one. There's one there. One, two, three, okay. And then there's a zombie in the killer spot, which is in the groundskeeper's shed where we've got a trash can lid, which might not be a bad idea to try and go get. Um, And then we put our victims out, of course, and our vehicles. So our vehicles, uh, if we find a certain, when we're in a space with a vehicle, we can search it. And then we can, um, I think we just, we just, oops, we get to just flip it over. It's not a search action, I should, I should clarify. And if it is a specific symbol, uh, we will get access to the cable cars, which is something that has been added to the Sacred Groves for this. And we will move directly from one exit space to another exit space. No roll required, and I believe the victims will come with us. So that can help us save some people. So they, there's one in each exit. So we'll put that there, there, there. There are only three exits in this map. So there's another one. Where does this one go? It tells me. Stand by. Odd number of spaces. Distribute the extra on the farthest exit space from your starting space which I think is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, so it's this one. So there are two vehicles there. <gasps> Phantom says, thank you. This is my first time watching a Twitch, but I love Final Girl. Well, welcome. We're so excited to have you here. Uh, and you, please, yeah, again, keep me honest on the rules, y'all. Hello, Meeple. Got a couple of these on my shelf of shame. Can't wait to get them finally played. Well, we're excited to hear how it goes for you. Let us know when you when you get it when you get them played. I just want to double check one thing about the sacred groves. Sacred spaces. So you can see here these red spaces with the little like mask symbol. In this location, as part of the location rules, those are sacred spaces. The burial ground, sacred shrine, and holy groves are all considered sacred spaces. The more victims that are located in those spaces, the angrier the gods may become, the higher the chance that divine wrath will increase. So that's probably going to have come into play with our terror cards when they flip over. Um, some other special things about our zombies as I set up our victims based on the setup map here is that they will only move one space they're slow so if we ever flip over a tarot card and it tells them to move again they won't they'll only move one space if they cannot get to their target within their movement they will panic so if they can't reach their target which is either a victim or the final girl essentially whatever's closer right um if they can't get there in one space they will just shamble somewhere randomly and we resolve that by doing a panic roll for them to determine where they go 
again, once they become a horde, they will start to take on killer, uh, they'll do the killer action. They take on that as their uh, descriptor, I guess. Oh, Gameritis guys says, thank you for these Final Girl streams. Got me playing my copy and finally beat Happy Trail Murders with both Final Girls. Still no one for Paula Final Girl, though, which seems on point. That seems about right. Yep, but congratulations, Gameritis guy. Otherwise, we have a person here. Person here. We've got four people here who I'm going to stand up. They're in the lost and found. Let's see. So our main thing we want to do, I guess let's stand up all our victims. The main thing we really want to do is kill zombies and obviously save victims. Now that doesn't sound that different from any regular game of Final Girl, so I don't know why I'm phrasing it that way, but here we go. Okay, so I believe that's correct. Four, one, 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 four, one. All right, there was all of our people. Now, important to note, you can see these spaces are not connected. So to get to this victim, I actually need to go around and over. I think I need to kill this zombie though while I'm in this space. All right, now we flip over an event and I think we're ready to start, which is exciting. Closed for maintenance, oh gosh, okay. Sorry, there's a small bit of glare, but it's not too bad. Thank God there's one less sacred space for these jabronis to defile, it says. When this card is revealed, you may discard all action cards except atonement to close a sacred space. If you do, place the closed token on the sacred space of your choice. Move any victims there to adjacent spaces of your choice. Victims may no longer move into the space for any reason, but you and all enemies may continue to move to and from the space as normal. This is a terrible time to have pulled this because we don't have any cards in it. We've just started. I'm actually, I'm, I'm making a call. That's not a great starting event because we can't do anything about it. We don't have the atonement card. We just started the game. So I'm shuffling that back in. We're pulling a different one. Oh, come around, Skim. Sorry about yourself, boiled egg. Okay, the Uber Tourist. Here we go. That's more That's more like it. Hey, John Yu. It's Final Girl Day. So we pull in our special victim, not a special victim unit. Hello, my name is Franz. No, I'm not shouting. This is my normal voice. The victim farthest from the killer is now the uber tourist. Whenever the killer must choose a target, the uber tourist is chosen instead. If the uber tourist is saved, decrease divine wrath by four. If the uber tourist is killed, increase divine wrath by four. Yeesh. Okay, so this is interesting because they're minions, not killers, but I'm going to say the uber, we're gonna put the one in the burial ground here. Hey, board to play says this set is so hard <laughs> all right we're gonna go with that so all of our minions here's how we're gonna make this work even though these are minions and not killers they are going to target the uber tourist hi Fargo Baggins oh I'm so glad you're enjoying remember remember that's my podcast everyone I make with Matthew Jude it's on a short small hiatus right now but we'll be back very soon um, if someone would drop a uh, RR command in chat, then everyone can see the link for it. Okay. Here we are. Let's act let's play. Right? Let's play. Okay, so I have all of my zero cost cards. That's how I start the game. Um, our horror is on four. That is uh, told to us right there. <sighs> okay. Well, the first thing we need to do, and it's very strange to start the game this way, but we're in a space with a zombie. So I think we need to kill them because the whole point of this scenario is to kill the zombies, right? <gasps> Thank you, Jeremiah Blob. You're the best. We also have this vehicle. And let me just confirm. I believe I get to just search that vehicle and see if it's one that we want. When you enter an exit space for the first time, reveal the vehicle token there. Yep, okay, great. 
Okay, let's see actually if we've just immediately somehow managed to get the right vehicle. We have not. That X means that's not, we have not found the cable car yet. So we'll remove that. But we're in here with a zombie and I think we should try and kill the zombie. Oh man, y'all, you can see how much I play this game. Look, the edge of my cards are starting to wear out. Okay. So I think we just do a weak attack to start. Like I feel like we just should. And, and see if we can kill this thing, right? We only have one health, they're a minion. So let's do a weak attack. And see with our uh, two dice we're rolling, if we can deal one damage to this thing and hopefully not hurt ourselves in the process. <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna do two fails right there, but we got one success, which means we do one damage, but we do hurt ourselves in the process. So we do kill this zombie, which is great, uh, but we take one damage. Put that over there. So that's something. Then I think we should try and, should we, okay. Okay, hold on a second, everyone. Should we try and go to a location with some stuff? So in the Lost and Found, which isn't that far from us, is the War Club, if we could search. Now, we don't have a search card, but we won't be able to get there and search this turn anyway. We don't have enough. Oops. We, we, we won't have enough movement to do it. Whenever you inflict damage with the War Club, choose Wrath and decrease it by the damage inflicted. Now, that is interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, maybe we had, I think it makes sense. Let's, and this is where two vehicles are too. This is kind of far away, but I wonder if we could come over here and take these people to the, or maybe we, it's gonna be easier to rescue this person and then maybe some of these people. So actually maybe we come up this way. Let's do that because I think it's gonna be easier to rescue people if we come up to the north rather than going west because it's gonna take so long to get these people to this exit. Though, I mean, we're in an exit right here. All I have to do is go there and then bring them back. Ugh. Oh boy, why is it so hard to decide? Those people are closest to the zombies, which means they're more likely to get got. We're gonna go north. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna focus to try and lower our horror. All right, I got one success. I don't think I'm gonna discard cards yet to turn that into a success. So one success means the horror goes down by one, but I lose a time. I don't lose a time for my weak attack, no. So that's not so bad. Okay, not a terrible start. And then we are gonna walk to see if we can get up to where these, these victims are. So let's see what we get from that. Hey, time roller. Two fails. Okay, well that didn't work. I can take a damage to move up to one space and lose two time or just lose two time. That's garbage. I'll t I'm gonna have to heal. I'm gonna take the damage. I'm playing fast and loose, y'all. I've lost two health on the first turn of the game. I only have three left. It's not great. It's not great. Um, and I will move one space, lose two time, just to get out of this here. I'm gonna go there. And I think that's how I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna hold on to these three cards. I have three time to spend. And I think we want to get like a sprint and a close call maybe for now. Because it's going to help us a lot to, we want to save people. So let's do a sprint for two and a close call for one. And that will spend all of the time currency that I have for the market. And then that resets to six. These go back into the market, the cards I used this turn and it is the killer turn. Okay, so the minions will go. We don't have any hordes yet, so we won't resolve any killer actions. Yeah, short stream, you say. So they will target, move, and, ooh, do they spawn? Is that what they do? Whoa, hold on. I'm pretty sure that's what that means, y'all.
where is the yes spawning zombies when you see the symbol spawn a number of zombies as indicated by the current bloodlust level place one zombie at a time until the number of spawn zombies indicated has been placed each time a zombie is placed in the exit space with the least number of zombies in it if there's a tie you put them where they are farthest from you so zombies target move and spawn cool so they this zombie will move here because they're one away from a person this zombie will move he ooh. here to get to where there's more people that's how they break that tie there's more people there uh, this zombie is not within range of anyone it's targeting so it will do a panic, which means it will roll the die to see where it randomly goes. A two, which means, I mean, it was going to go there anyway, here. Because all the all the options from the exit are go there. Here, we're going to stack those. Okay, then they spawn. So we get a zombie. The bloodlust is just one. You can see here, so the spawn value is one. So only one is going to spawn. It's going to spawn in the exit space with the fewest zombies. Now, they've all moved. So none of the exit spaces have zombies. So it's going to be the one farthest from me, which is this one. So there's a zombie there. Is it just the killer that, oh, that's right. They need to move toward the Uber tourist, the Uber driver. You're right, uh, because, of, because of this, uh, which they are basically doing anyway. But yes, that is their ultimate target. Thank you for reminding me of that. All right, then we flip over our tarot card. Rage of the Gods, great. So this wants us to pull an event and then we're gonna increase some divine wrath. And so this, I believe we ignore. It says place the killer at this location. Uh, I believe in this version of the game, we don't do that, especially because these are minions, not the killer, so that won't happen. Um, but we do flip over this event. Loud and obnoxious. Oh no. Whenever wrath, divine wrath increases, increase it by an additional one. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, so this, especially paired with this. So this is increased divine wrath by number of victims at a sacred space. We have one, two, and then an additional one, three. So divine wrath goes up by three, and I think this happens. One, two, three. So I believe we lose four time now here with the Divine Wrath. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's when you unleash the wrath that the effect it's on will happen. Whenever bloodlust increases, in addition to applying any effects on the killer board, you must also apply the effect listed on the matching line of the Sacred Grove's bloodlust track, which is here. We lower this with our atonement cards. Okay, great. Sorry, everyone. Got it. Hi, board game Bree. Yes, and Camelus can chat is, is uh, keeping me on track there. It only happens if it unleashes, and right now it's just increased. Oh boy, okay, and now I believe the zombies attack. This, they target and then they attack, attack. So they will attack, sorry everyone, that I'm, I'm checking the rules many times. Um, zombies attack as a group, attacking one target in their space and dealing damage equal to the number of zombies in the space. They always prioritize victims over the final girl. Um, great. So, some people are going to die now. <gasps> Board Game Bree, you're with Arcane Wonders now. Congratulations. I can't wait to hear more about that. That's great. That's really exciting. That makes me happy. Um, okay. So, uh, this zombie will attack this person they die and become a zombie so they're now two zombies in this space which isn't great the bloodlust will go up by one we increase oh gosh y'all 
we increase divine wrath by number of victims in. So that goes up three because it's one, two, plus the additional. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> That's fine. It's cool. It's fine. Um, this one will kill a victim. It'll be this one when they become a zombie. So there are now two in these groups are primed to become hordes. They need one more and they become a horde. Go zombies. Don't root for the zombies, show event horizon. This could be a quick game. This could fall apart very quickly. Um, <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Why did I choose the sacred groves again? <laughs> and then they, they kill again? So they killed twice? I think then... Uh, so this is about to become a horde so they killed twice right so knife knife two kill two attacks and so now these two are killing again they will attack one target but do two damage, but that's still just one. So one more victim gets killed by these two. These two don't have another one uh, to attack, which means a third zombie goes here, which means we have our first horde. Let me make sure it's not when you add to three, it's when you become three. Um, if there are three, oh wait, if there are three or more zombies in a space at the end of the killer phase, they become a horde. Well, this is technically the end of the killer phase. I mean, honestly, so. <sighs> That's a horde. We pull the first horde from the dark power card and we reveal the dark power card. This has escalated very fast. No, you're not allowed to root for the zombies, Kit Kat. Runners, oh good, oh good. Hi, Slivers. We're dying right now. Zombies no longer ignore... Oh, no, they're fast now. This is terrible. Look at what's happened here, everyone. I was like, they're slow, and that's great. But no, they're runners. Zombies no longer ignore movement icons on terror cards. When resolving actions on terror cards, always move all zombies before resolving attacks. So now they can move faster. Great. Good. No big deal. It's fine. It's fine. It's, everything's fine. We're not going to die. Wow, what a start to the game. Though I do find often that our first turns are like, well, we're going to lose fast, but then we, we somehow make it work, right? So, okay. That's them. Now, we do have a panic phase because victims were killed in this space, so these victims are going to panic. So, let's roll for this one. Okay, a six, so they run here to the burial ground. Great, they need to get out of there. This was the first turn, kick at. <laughs> and a four, so they run this way. Okay, there we go. Now it's me again. We gotta kill zombies. We, we gotta kill zombies and we gotta save people. Look how these people, I was running out there to try and save them and they all ran away from where I was trying to go. That's not very smart, victims. That's not very smart. So, but we gotta kill zombies. And we gotta save people. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Frankly, I don't know. So we have sprint, we don't have any attacks so we can't kill zombies. To the lost and found it is, I think. Um, I'm always making a plan and then changing it. So let's sprint and see if we can go to the lost and found. Now, I don't have a search. Ay, 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 Let's see where we can... Mm, okay, wait. First, let's focus. How about that? First, we focus because that might help us lower the... <laughs> lower the whore. Ugh. Okay, that's one success, and I can turn the other six this into a success if I want, but I don't think I'm going to. It just it would just give me some time, and I would rather hold on to the cards. So I'm gonna lower the focus and lose one time. Okay, not bad. 
Then I'm going to sprint and see if we can get into these spaces to try and pick up some victims to save. So let's sprint and roll two dice. Oh good, I can't go anywhere. Are you kidding me? This is so classic. So I can either move up to one space, take a damage, lose two time, and end my turn. Or take a damage, lose two time, and keep going. This is, this is rotten, what's happening right now. Um, I guess we'll, you know what? Thank you for that follow, Binka. And Sackle, and Mind Numb. I already got Mind Numb earlier. Look, the closer we get to death, the sooner we get an extra die, right? So let's just, let's just kick damage. <laughs> I'm playing fast and loose with our health. <laughs> oh boy. So we'll move up to a space, lose two time, and end our turn. So we're coming here, we're in a space with this victim. We're losing two time, and then this means that our actions are over. Terrible. So I have three to spend, and I'm going to get. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think I'm going to get. I need a search so I can get this uh, war club. So I'm going to get a search for two, and I'm going to get the other close call for one. And that's my three times spent to get cards. I can get these um, free actions. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I have a hand limit of 10. Uh, and then these all go back. The two cards I managed to play will just go back to the tableau. That's my whole turn. It's not the best start we've ever had. I, you're right, Ardan Henry. I tied my shoelaces wrong. Second double fail roll on movement. Yeah, it's not it's not great. It's not going well So now it's the killer phase. So now hordes act as killers So minions go first they target move and spawn so None of these zombies can get where they are going um, like they can't reach their target in their one movement so they will all move randomly so let's uh, panic these so we'll do this one that's a three here let me do this so y'all can see it a little better so this one goes because the number three here on the board they'll go up here okay let's see where this one goes Four. This is called shambling. They go over here where this, oh, where this horde is. Uh, but the horde will move probably, so I don't think they're going to become part of the horde. So that's good. Um, oh, also this horde's health is three. Which I'm going to mark like this. We have one horde, its health is three. Uh, okay, so boop, 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 this one. Oh dear. Okay, a two, so it's gonna go up here, which makes sense anyway, it's getting it closer to its uber, uh, uber tourist. And then this one, two, well, this one's obviously gonna come out of the exit space, okay. Then they spawn and there will be an exit with the fewest, which is gonna be this one, because this one's close to me. This one has a zombie in it. This one's furthest away, so that's gonna get a zombie. Based on the bloodlust number, so okay, yeah, spawn is still one. Help me make sure, okay, we don't go up to two spawning for a long time, so there's that. Um, Sidai Seen says, I'm waiting for the revelation that Paula's ancestor robbed a die-shaped temple or something. They're definitely holding some sort of grudge. Camelisk, I don't know why I picked this map. I thought it would be fun, and it's terrible. It's brutal. Why didn't I pick Storybook Woods, which was the other one I was considering? Okay, so we have our spawn. Now the killer action, and that is the horde, who's going to target 
move, and attack. So they are definitely coming in after this uber tourist, right? I think they're about to kill them, which is bad. So they move based on the stats on this card. So their movement is one. So they, the horde moves into this burial ground. They will do two damage um, on this uber tourist who is who they're targeting because of this, and that will kill them. So if they're killed, we increase Divine Wrath by four, which takes it all the way up to the top. Ay, ay, ay. All right, they're dead. We did not get to save them. Oh, and they become part. So that adds a health, actually, to this horde, which now has four health. I have, uh, I don't know where they are. Little rings I could be marking these with, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what you could do? This health could actually go. I could move the Divine Wrath down. Because this health, so I don't know if you can tell, this horde is marked with the blue triangle, which means we're going to put their health in the blue triangle uh, area here. That's how we'll keep track. Being on holy ground is not helping. You're right, Arden Henry. It's not helping. Because <sighs> that horde has basically sucked up that victim and made them one of theirs, so now they have that extra health, right? And now... We flip over a tarot card, which we had not done yet. I'm the meat in a zombie sandwich. Hey. Okay, so they're going to target and attack. And if there's at least one horde in play, the horror level is going to go up. Oh, boy. Okay, so no zombies are in our space with a victim except for our horde, who's in space with this victim. Oh gosh, I didn't put the, I didn't put the bloodlust up before when they killed. So then the horror goes up from that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then they're gonna kill this one, get another health. So they now have five health. There's no upward limit to their health. They are now way healthier than me. The bloodlust goes up again. Oh, this is so bad. We pull an event and we unleash wrath. And the horror goes up again. Okay, so let's do this first so I don't forget it. The horror goes up to four because of that card. We've done this card. Now we pull an event. The gods hate failure. Whenever you completely fail a horror roll, increase divine wrath by one. Which means it'll increase by two because of this. Oh, the uber tourist card can go away now. That's nasty. Yeah, I need to disguise myself as a zombie, try to blend in. Okay, now we unleash Divine Wrath because of this. Discard all action cards except Atonement and decrease Divine Wrath by the number of cards discarded. I don't have any Atonement in my hand because I didn't get any. So all of my cards are gone. All of them. But I am going to decrease by eight because that's eight cards. This sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So this goes down to two. Does that mean I lose my turn? That's awful. <laughs> cool. Well, that's the end of the killer phase. Then it's me because there's no panicking because they killed everyone who would panic. And I think I, yeah, Camelus because I already had it twice in their game that they're playing along with us. Uh, do nothing on my turn because I have no cards. Uh, so I'll get some cards back. So now I have, you don't lose your turn, you just have no cards to play. You can uh, buy new cards, right? All I can do on my turn is buy new cards, yep. Oh no, Woodsy says, I've lost Sacred Groves three times that way. Yeah, that's bad. We need to remember to get some atonement. How about that? Um, so we have these, and I do have six to spend. So that's the thing is I can get a bunch of cards now. So I think we should get, so we have walk, weak attack, focus, short rest, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
cards. I think we spend two on a search. We have four. We should probably get two on an atonement. And then two left. I think we should do probably a sprint with my last two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's fine. Ay, 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 it's so bad. Okay, now it's the killer phase again, and it's not good. Okay, so killer phase. <laughs> <laughs> so the minions will target, move, and spawn. Okay, so this minion will move here because it's one space away from a victim. None of the rest are in range of anything, so we're going to randomly move them. So let's start with this one. That's a three, so they move here. This one, that's a five, so they move to the burial ground. This one, that's a two, so they come up here. This one. That's a six, of course they go there. Okay, that's all of them. And then we spawn one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. They're still coming in from this side over here. And then we do the killer phase, which is our horde. They will target, move, attack. So they have a movement of one still, and they're going to target victims first. They're gonna come where this one is. They're gonna to add to their number, I think, here. So they're gonna come here. They're going to attack this victim, gain another health, and the bloodlust goes up, which is bad. Increase divine wrath by number of victims at sacred spaces. There's only one. So Divine Wrath goes up to three. Okay. Oh wait, it goes up an additional because of that. So it's at four. If that unleashes right now, we would discard one random action card. They are runners now, yes. Which means that if we pull a terror card and it has a movement symbol on it, they do that movement. Where before, they would have ignored it. Um, Okay, I think that's those actions. And now we, there's not gonna be any victims left for me to save. Now we flip over a tarot card. Is this again? I'm the meat in a zombie sandwich, again. Okay, so they would attack, but no one's in a space with a victim. If there's at least one horde in play, increase the horror. Horror's up to five now. It's not, it's not great. It's not great. You know, it's not like ideal. Okay. Now at the end of the killer phase, I believe this zombie gets sucked up by this horde. Let me confirm that. They may not. Let me see if that's true. Uh, when a victim is killed by a horde, the horde's health increases by one. A horde uh, always remains a horde. It will move if it ever shares a space with a zombie. The zombies removed from the board, and the health of the horde is increased by one. Yes, hordes will not combine with each other. I will say at least we only have one horde, even if it's a big, massive horde, because if we end up with all three, we can lose. So this becomes part of this horde. Part of your Horde. They have a lot of health. It's not good. Um, it's not good. Okay. 
I think that's it. No one will panic because they're not in a space with a killer or a zombie. Yeah, zombie Little Mermaid. So now it's me and I get to actually take my turn. So when I move, this victim will come with me. So let's like pick some people up and bounce. Oh, I can only take two with me. For, should we atone? We probably sh woof. First, let's focus. Let's see if we can lower our horror and give ourselves a little buffer here. So we roll two dice. time today that's a double fail and remember this the gods hate failure whenever you completely fail a horror roll increase divine wrath by one but I increase it by two because of loud and obnoxious uh, and I lose two time for fully failing that I can't believe the luck I'm having today. Forget it. Let's walk. Come on. We can do this. We can walk. I will discard two cards to turn that into one success. I'm going to discard my short rest and my focus because forget it. That turns this into a success, which means I can move up to one space and lose a time. I'm not sure I'm going to be making a comeback on this one. I think you're correct. Okay, so we're going to come into the lost and found. <laughs> I'm in here with a whole bunch of people, right? So then I am going to attempt to search because I want to get that war club. So let's try and search. I rolled two dice. Okay. I might go ahead and discard, should I discard cards to turn that into two successors or just take the war club? I'm just going to take the war club. I need the cards. So one success means I get to take the top item. I do lose a time, but I'm going to get the war club. This is uh, in my hand. It takes up both hands. It will deal one extra damage. And whenever I inflict damage with the war club, I choose, it has a range of, I have to be in the space with them, I believe. Um, and I can decrease divine wrath by the number of damage dealt. So that is something. <sighs> oh boy. Um, and then... We should, let's just see if we can sprint and take somebody with us. Maybe we should just go back to, let's just see what we do. Let's try and sprint and see if we can save a couple victims. So that's two dice. This is so bad. Yeah, even for me, this is bad rolling. Oh, Camelisk, you lose. Camelisk says, if you want to know how it's going, I ran out of horde tokens. And the rules don't say what to do if you can't make more hordes. If you can't make more hordes, you lose. <laughs> uh, cool. So... The gods hate failure, and it's loud and obnoxious, this failure. So my divine wrath is going to go up by two. I'm already back up to eight on that. Um, this is rough. Why did I choose this map? <laughs> then, if I fail, I can move up to one space, take a damage, lose time, and end my turn. Shoot, I'm gonna get an extra die if I, I have one health left and it's all from self-inflicted damage, y'all, self-inflicted. But I'm gonna have, roll an extra die. So everything's gonna turn around, okay? I'm gonna move up to one space. Two of these people are gonna come with me and we're going here. Uh, I lose two times, so I have no time to spend on cards and my turn is over. This is really pretty bad, actually. So sprint's gonna go here, search is gonna go here. 
And all my free cards go there. That was rough. I have nothing to spend to buy new cards. And it's the killer turn. So they're gonna go now. So the minions. <laughs> Target move and spawn girl. Um. Okay, again, none of them, they've killed everyone near them. So they're all gonna shamble. So let's start with this one. Okay, a six, so they come here, and then we'll do this one. A four, so they go there. This one, oops, that was a six, so they go here. We might be about to make another horde. This one, a two, so they go there, and this one. A five, they go here. They always come out of the exit. I don't even really need to roll for them. And then we spawn. And now I am close to this. I'm one, two, three away from here. I think this is where it's gonna spawn because it's furthest away from me. Um, and then the key, the killer will go and he's gonna move into this sacred shrine to go after this guy. Uh, and get even stronger because he's gonna attack um, and his attack is four he will straight up kill me if he gets near me so we need to run away this one will die he gets one more health stronger this is a massively strong horde of zombies it's very bad the bloodlust goes up the horror goes up based on that. So we're at almost, y'all, I just moved the horror <laughs> to six. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Great, I think that's everything. So now we flip over a tarot card because the bad stuff just keeps going. Honestly, this might be the first playthrough where the final girl just dies without even interacting with the enemy. I did kill one zombie at the start, at the very, on the very first turn I killed one zombie. <laughs> No one will notice if I break off one of these pretty branches. No one will notice. All right, this is a location uh, one. Here, let me move this so it's a little easier to see. Increase divine wrath by number of victims at sacred spaces. Guess what? None, because the zombies got them all. Unleash, great. Place two new victims at the holy groves. All victims adjacent to the Holy Groves move there. Okay, no one's adjacent to the Holy Groves, so two victims will go to the Holy Groves. And we need to unleash our Divine Wrath. Oops. Discard two random action cards and lose five time. This location is bonkers hard. Bonkers hard. So, we're going to be down to five. I only have three cards. Why did I choose this location again? This is rough. All right, these two. Atonement and walk, great. Cool, it's good. It's good. Well, that could have been better, Mrs. Cashadan. I don't, I, uh, look, I have a username. Hello. <laughs> I can't do anything on my turn. All I have is a weak attack and I can't do anything with it. So that's Great, this is really rough. And lesson learned about this location, everyone. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been really pretty bad. Um, wow, okay, so on my turn, I will, oh, oh atonement, sorry. Um, go over here. I have one to spend, so basically I'm not doing anything on my turn. I will take all of my free cards back into my hand, and then I have one to spend, which I'll spend on a close call. Um, 
that back up to six. And that's it. So, if the zombies kill you, you become a zombie and therefore win. I like where your head's at, Jesse, Jess. I like where your head's at. Yeah, Woodsy, uh, play the zombies, but maybe on a different map. Maybe don't play them on the Sacred Groves. This is the stuff, the stuff. <laughs> now they go. <laughs> so the minions will move. Again, none of them are adjacent to a victim. So they all move randomly. So let's start up here. Okay, a five, they're gonna come here. Okay, this is two, so they don't come a horde until there's three. Oh no, we've got a word ban. Okay, I can't say the word play. Great, help me remember that. We're gonna try and do that for the rest of the game. A six here, and then this one, also there. And then this one, two. Oh no, they're gonna become a horde. This one, two. So they're gonna go there. This one, there. And then we spawn, I believe, up here again. All right, then the killer phase. Yeah, the rest of the 10 minutes of the game. New. Hello, it's not going well. We are losing to some zombies. <laughs> Camelus, I would have to ignore those word bands, I think. Um, well, we just have to get very creative with the outro. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The killer goes. I'm not gonna say the P word. Um, I think the killer comes toward us. So it's targeting victims or final girl. We'll always prioritize victims over the final girl to help you be the final girl, right? And there's a tie. They can either come here or here. There's three and three. I feel like they might come toward me. Okay, so we've banned... YouTube, this is what happens in the live streams. You have points you can spend. And now I can't say the word lay with the P in front of it. And I can't say now lose. Paprika. Well, good. I wasn't going to say paprika anyway. Can two whores become one? Phantom wants to know. No, two whores will never combine. Yes, this is me. I'm playing my character here, new. Um... I think they come toward me. We've banned zombie? Okay, Twitch chat is out of control. I can't say, <laughs> I can't say, oh boy. All right, I'm gonna try and remember all those words that I'm not gonna say now. These undead reanimated corpses will move toward me. I can't even with Twitch chat right now. Uh, I can't say the word ban anymore either, so I'm not allowed to say almost any word at this point. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going to happen. Oh, these two people, this is horrible. These two victims, I'm trying to save. I'm not going to be able to save anyone. This is, I'm not playing well. I'm really not playing well. So the zombies are going to... Oh no, I said it. I said two. There's no real punishment for it other than... Uh... I am not performing well in this game and this horde of reanimated corpses are going to attack the victims that I'm here with. And they are gonna do four damage. They are just gonna target one victim. So, hey, Dwyer Wildstar. So this one is going to become a part of their horde. She planks the remaining time, that's insane. Look, I have a username. Uh, so they get another health. I will never be able to defeat this horde of zombies, I think. Um, 
The bloodlust goes up. Unleash divine wrath, <laughs> which is discard two random action cards and lose five time. At least I have more cards in my hand this time. Yeah, it's time to just blow this whole thing up. We'll discard those, whatever they are. A walk and a focus. Okay, that could have been worse. I, uh... Hornist, I can't sing that song right now that you've redeemed because um, of the word ban. But at the end of the game, I will sing it. Part of your horde has been requested. Uh, yeah, Juan says time to flip the table. Okay. This is okay. Let's move on. Let's do it. Okay. Now we, now we pull a tarot card, which we haven't even pulled yet. They just keep coming. They sure do. So now we spawn. Uh, and it's the exit space with the fewest. So here, here. So what's furthest away? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So one will come here. At the end of the phase, this will become a horde. So we take one of these hordes and they go there. And that's the white diamond. So they get three health. Oh, thank you for catching that. It does spawn two now. Do they go in the same space? Um, one at a time. Okay, so then the other one will come here. Wolf. This is my end. Uh, yeah, perhaps we play Wolf Asylum next. So if I go bonkers, I can get treatment quickly. It's, yeah. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna do some things now on my turn. Um, oh, this, this, this victim, I think, panics. So, cool. Good. Let's see where they go. They panic because someone died in front of them in this space. A four, which means they go to the sacred shrine. Get out of these sacred spaces, you dum-dums. Cool. No big deal. Definitely putting the final in. Final girl. I am going to do my weak attack. And I believe I'm going to... Thank you for that follow, old soul Paul. I believe I can buff that with my war club. And I'm trying not to say any of the words. But I may have said the Z word. Uh, so we're going to try to weak attack here. I roll three dice because I have only one health. <laughs> so that gives me an extra die to roll. And uh, whenever I inflict damage, I can lower Divine Wrath by the amount of damage. So come on. Okay. So that's one success plus two cards. So one success means I would hurt myself, so I cannot do that. Um, I could do two damage because of my war club, so I'll be able to lower this by two, but I need to uh, convert this to a success so that I don't take any damage myself. So let's do this focus and short rest, I think. No, let's do the short rest and the close call, obviously. So that means that... I will do two damage, one from the war club, one from the card, to this zombie. <sighs> Restart. Normally I have a little timer. For people when I normally have a little timer, I pop up on screen um, that I've not pulled up uh, for this. But uh, this horde is very strong. And two... So we're definitely into, just count, keep count, and I'll do something at the end of the stream for however many times I uh, say the wrong words. That'll be the number of minutes I do something. We're not sure yet. Uh, 
but I do two damage and I can lower the divine wrath by two so it's now at six instead of eight uh and now let's see if we can get away from this thing can we walk away from it let's try okay one success means I can move up to one space. I lose all my time. I'm not going to get any cards other than my free ones. But I can move one space. Should we roll up into this sacred grove and try and save this person again? I haven't saved a single dang victim. Okay. They're just going to come back in with me. And then they're going to... No, they're going to go here next. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh... Yep, that's it. That's my turn. I'm going to hold on to this last card. So, I have no time to spend, so I'll just get these two free cards. I have two focus and a walk. This is rough. Normally, I'm able to do so much more than this in this game. So, all these will go back. And the healer phase will happen. All right, so the minions will go. It's close up on the killer board. I need the victim's meat shields. Lollipops, yes, this one will be uploaded to YouTube. Sure will be. Uh, boy, I need some water. I need to hydrate. All right, the minions are all going to move randomly again because none of them are adjacent to um, any any victim. So we'll start here. Okay, two, we'll send them here. Then let's go here. I don't, again, I don't know why I'm rolling for those uh, when they're in an exit. So the only place I can go is to the next one over. Then here, a two, so they'll go here. Okay, but what about this one? A one. <laughs> They're just swapping places. That's cool. Okay, how about this one? A three. They'll go here with this horde. And this one, a two. They'll go over there. All right. These are now primed to be able to get these people in the Holy Groves. Well, thanks for popping in, lollipops. We'll see you over on YouTube. So now we do the killer action, which is for the hordes. So they will target, move, and attack. So this horde is going to target these victims because there's more in the space because it's equ equidistant. So they'll come here. And this one with a speed of two are actually going to come here, I believe. Well, actually, or would they go here? Well, I had them come toward me last time and it is the worst thing. For me because they're gonna kill my victim that I keep trying to save I need to forget these victims I'm gonna lose oh I said the L word <laughs> here's another one I need to kill zombies like I need to I think I need to forget about trying to save victims and just get whatever attack cards I can and trying and, and I said it get I need to kill things I need to kill monsters okay So yeah, this is gonna come here. It's gonna come over to me. And then this will kill this victim. It heals it, because it sucks it up into its horde. The bloodlust goes up one, which is gonna give us an event and increase Divine Wrath by number of victims at uh, holy spaces and sacred spaces and unleash it. There's two, but we do by one. So we do three. One, two, three. So we're at nine. <laughs> I can't with this. This divine wrath is horrible. And I haven't been able to play any atonement cards to make it better. Because what's going to happen now is we unleash this. The horror goes up by two. I think I might be about to die. Here's what's gonna happen, everyone. This is this is bad. This is a, a snowball of things that are happening right here. 
the horror goes up by two. One, it cannot go up again, which means the bloodlust goes up again. So that's as high as it goes. I lose four times, so I'm down to two. Um, then this horde attacks. They'll attack this victim, killing it, adding to their health, increasing the bloodlust, which goes up and back down here. Discard a tear card and add health to each horde. I'm so dead. This tarot card goes away. So one closer to the end. Um, okay, that's that. Then we reveal a tarot card. Let me just carve my initials right here in... Increase Divine Wrath by number of victims at Sacred Spaces. This is really bad. Which is two, but we do an additional because they're loud and obnoxious. So that's three. It just goes to ten. Unleash Divine Wrath. All my action cards go away. Here's my, uh, my advice for you playing the Sacred Groves. Do not be like me. I have not played this. I know. I've said the P word. I'll do something at the end. You got to get these atonement cards and use them. This is, this has been quite bad. Um, yeah, this is. You've, you've got to get these. Learn from my mistakes. You've got to get the atonement cards if you're playing here. Because this is destroying me. Uh, having to discard all these cards. I need to be, be making use of those atonement cards to lower this divine wrath to keep me from having to discard cards. It's it's really killing me, literally and figuratively. The divine wrath is part of the sacred groves. Uh, so this is part of the location, not part of the terror from the grave. Um, At place two new victims at the sacred shrine. Oh, look, that's where I am. That's something at least. Um, it, all victims adjacent to the sacred shrine move there. I can't believe how little I'm able to do because I've just let this divine wrath get completely out of control. This will at least, oh, discard by the number of cards discarded. How many, or lower this by the number of cards discarded. How many did I discard? Like three, I think. I don't think I had that many. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I don't even know if these people should panic. Did anyone die in this? I think they did. I think they do panic, right? Yeah, yeah, let's see, Have it, do any of these new victims have a bite already? So we'll just panic them all. I think someone did die here. Uh, I can't even keep track, it's been so bad. Hold on, this is, okay. Okay, a one, they stay here with me, because there's no one. So one to two, they'll stay. I keep dropping everything. A three goes here. A two stays, a three goes here. All right, they run off. Okay. I somehow survived a zombie band? Thank goodness, thank you, Hornus. Kit-Kat says, I don't think they were there when the person died, though. That's true they weren't, but Technically, they did run into a space with a horde of zombies, so I think it's just if there are victims in the space where someone died, they probably walk in, they see someone, the more horde of zombies are a dead body, and they run off, perhaps. Um, yeah. Woof. Okay. Well, it's my turn. I have no cards. <laughs> so I just pick up the...
the free ones and I spend two, uh, I guess, on an atonement. Take, take the advice of myself. Um, spin, oops, sorry everyone, I've switched to different. I'm gonna spin these two on getting an atonement and trying to lower this. So, yeah, they see their recently living friend is shuffling around and they panic and run off. It's their turn again. Oh no, you're fine, Kit Kat. Uh, you're totally fine. Uh, this can be a lot to manage as well, so. Um. Oh no, Camilla says, I have the dark power card. That's my mom. That makes the victims panic toward the zombies. That's rough. It's funny because I was worried about the runners, but this symbol hasn't actually so far come up on any of our cards yet. All right. Okay. There you go. I think I might die. I think I might die. I can't do anything because I didn't have any cards. <laughs> So the minions are gonna go. This minion will go here because they're finally one away from victims. These will go in here because they're finally one away from victims. The rest will move randomly. Oh yeah, could have been the discarded tarot card. Let's see. No, there was no movement on that one. That's funny. Um, okay, this one will go to the burial ground. This one will go to the burial ground. This one will go over here. Okay, they spawn two. So they're gonna go, I'm close to here, one here and one here. Then the hordes go and they do the killer action. So this one doesn't need to move because it's already in a space with me. So it's just going to attack there. This one will, I think I die now. Pretty sure I die. Pretty sure I'm about to die. I can't believe how poorly I have performed in this in this game. I'm normally, I really feel like normally I'm better at the game than this. Um, this one wrecked me. The, this horde will move in here and they're going to attack. Now, here's the thing. I will survive actually briefly because they're going to attack victims before they attack me. So... Uh, this one will attack this victim and this one will attack this victim. They are both going to heal. I'm doing this in kind of a strange order. How, how am I going to kill these things? The bloodlust goes up one, which does this little circle thing. Discard a tarot card and add health to each hoard. So there goes that and they each get another health. It's only a matter of time, y'all. And then the bloodlust for that one happens again. Discard a tarot card. I'm running out of health tokens. They're so strong. This is crazy pants. Look at this. <laughs> this feels like a zombie horde invasion, right? Like it does. You can't say it's not thematically appropriate. <laughs> the dead in the sacred shrine just coming up and surrounding me. Derek Young, thank you for that follow. Um. I haven't even been able to get to the vehicles to find them. Let's... Okay, I don't think anyone... Oh, now we flip over a tarot card. Oh, it's our last tarot card, so we're about to have the finale. Don't forget, double tap. Everyone will attack and then all the, the victims will panic. Well, we don't need to trigger the finale, I don't think, because I, I am going to die. So first let's do the minions who will um, attack. So I'm going to lose in multiple ways on this turn. This, okay, oh wait, they attack as a group, so they're going to do two damage to this one victim, which is going to give them another zombie which is going to turn them into a horde here at the end of the phase and this one will do one damage to this one which turns it into a dealy bop this one will attack me for six damage Let's see do i have anything to protect myself absolutely not nothing 
Uh, and this one will attack me for six damage. I'm soups dead unless I flip this over, but um, yeah. Let's see what happens, I guess. It is sad when the cat cam is offline. You're not wrong, Phantom. They're just not in here right now. I can't let the cats in here when I have a game out like this. Oh, I have three health. Hey, Phantom, look at that. I have no health tokens left to mark it, but um, I have three health. No, wait, now wait, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, do I resolve the second attack? Who knows? I've never like died in this way before. Yeah, it was number three and had three extra health, um, which is awesome. So, because if so, I'm just going to die again anyway. So when exactly does that resolve? I need to look this up in the rules. Where's my rule book? It's right here. I thought when you died, it was a stop on the current turn. I feel like that's right, right? But I want to make sure... Um, I want to make sure that's correct because I don't want to live longer than I'm supposed to. Uh, okay. Attacking. Attacking the final girl. Because normally you don't have more than one killer in your space, right? So that's the only thing is I have two killers in my space. Thank you for that follow, Floor. Hold on, hold on. Is it not? Stand by. The final health token. When no normal health markers are left and there remains damage to be applied, their final black health token is revealed. The final black health token is blank. They're dead. The game is over. If it isn't blank, they come back to life in classic horror movie fashion. Replace uh, with the white one. Uh, Make up the rest and normal health markers. Sorry, so that should just be two because that's the third. Um, when someone comes back to life, the current phase immediately ends and play continues to the next phase. Their health is fully depleted a second time. Their white... Okay, yes. So that ends. So I have a second chance. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're absolutely right. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. I can't do much, but that's that. Now, these, these both these victims panic. I've saved no one. It's fine. They run uh, nowhere. They're st oh, no. They run to me. So they run to me in my zombie arms. Three, four, five, six. They stay there. This becomes a horde. My third horde is on the board. It's only a matter of time. I literally have no more health tokens. <laughs> That's why you have, um, I should use these times two markers. <sighs> it does make sense narratively given what the flip part represents. It's true. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Okay. Okay, the panicking has happened, the things have happened, I actually get to take my turn. How about that? Um, I'm going to, no, I'm down to only being able to roll one die, so that's a thing. Let's focus. Let's see if we can lower the focus. Come on, give me a success. I'm not meant to win this. When you completely fail a horror roll, increase Divine Wrath by one. I lose two time for that. Oh yeah, I have to reveal the finale. Thank you. They've all been bitten. Oh boy. When this card is revealed, replace each remaining victim on the board with a zombie. Please have panda song. Um, awesome. Great. 
I'm going to die now. I think I just give up and die. Uh, I will do a weak attack. No, I will do another focus. Come on, I just need two dice. Okay, we're going to discard these two walks to make this a success so that I can roll two dice. Now I weak attack one of the hordes with two dice. All right, that's one success. So I do two damage because of the extra with my war club, but I also take a damage. Uh, which one am I attacking? Let's do the one that's been around the longest, the blue one, so they get two damage taken away. And this will come down two. And that's it. That's it. I'm also surprised I've stayed alive this long. Uh, you know what? Let's play our atonement. Why not? We're just going to have to discard all the cards anyway. Okay, one success. Decrease the Divine Wrath by one. All right, I've done it. All right, I have one card left. And four time to spend. How about that? Okay, so wait, these wait. So I have four time to spend, and I think I should spend it on a freaking retaliate. That's right, that's what we're doing. So I can do some damage when they attack me before I die again. Then all of these go back to their spot. Okay. And that resets because I spent that four on that. And now it's the killer phase. So move all zombies before resolving attacks. Okay, so the minions target, move and attack. Uh, cool. Well, they're, okay, so both, of, oh no. I think, oh wait, these, but which horde did these become a part of? That's fine, they're there. Because they're moving toward me. I think everyone else is going to move randomly. Well, they're definitely coming out of there because it's the only way they can go. Five, they go there. This one two they go there this one four they go there these two this one will go five there and this one will go four there uh and then they attack so these will attack me strength of three uh because there's three of them so that will kill me if I can't survive it. And so I'm going to retaliate to try and kill them. Ah, let's roll two dice. Okay, that's one success. I will reduce the damage from the attack by two. So that means I only take one. And I kill one of them. Wait, I do an extra damage. I think I still can only kill one of them. I might be wrong about that, but I think I can only do one of them. The damage doesn't typically roll over, right? Well, I'm gonna take out as many as I can as I also die. And now when I inflict damage with my war club, I did how much two damage? I can decrease this by two. See, that's how this is supposed to be working. I think you can spread out damage on minions. Oh, well, we're going to say yes that you can. And I'll kill another one of those. So they don't become another horde. <laughs> okay, now the hordes go. And I think this is where it's over because I spent my retaliate. So they move and attack. Um, let's do this one's move. These don't need to move. This one's going to move toward me. It's going to move to... One, two, it's not gonna quite make it, but these two will, will do just fine, I think, because they're doing six damage. And I can't defend myself against it, and I have no more, no more health, because all I have left is this short rest that I didn't use. So, yep, I died. <laughs> they would not become a new horde, uh, when they have the two right there to join, like would this one become a new horde? 
Um, at the end of the killer phase, it would suck them up. Um, but yeah, not yet. And the hordes don't combine into one horde. They stay two separate hordes. So they both do six damage to me that I can't do anything about. And I die. Yeah, that's, you know what? Jesse just makes a good point in chat. Says, that's okay. The Ink and Yamba will sort out these pesky zombies. Talk about defiling sacred groves. Zombies. Y'all, that was rough. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow. Uh, Code Po. Thank you so much for that. <sighs> Even zombies form clicks. This, uh, this was tricky. Uh, like I said, if you're playing in Sacred Groves, do not sleep on your atonement cards. Uh, because this Divine Wrath wrecked me. Absolutely wrecked me. And I definitely got taken over by a horde of zombies. I did not. Yep. It's fine. I'm now a zombie. And you know it's better this way. I don't have to think. I just, like, follow my instincts. I do what i told. If someone else thinks for me. It's honestly, it's better this way. <laughs> Well, another rousing loss of, there we go, of Final Girl. That was a very uh, tricky playthrough of Terror from the Grave. Next time I play this, I think I will be doing it in a different location because I think we'll fare better. Uh, not at the Sacred Groves. I've forgotten how hard the Sacred Groves is as a location. Thank you so much for joining me for this playthrough. Thank you so much to Van Ryder Games for sponsoring this Twitch play and YouTube upload. There's a link to them in the description of this video below. Go check them out if you are interested in Final Girl yourself. Thank you so much. If you want to join us live, I do these streams every month at twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. They're a really good time. So come on over and join us over on Twitch. And thank you so much for being here. And we'll catch you later. Bye.